it's Claire from Aurora Face and Body Art and together with Haver and Council we'd like to bring you a festive face painting tutorial. So today we are going to do Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Now this is probably one of my most popular designs around this time of the year. Lots and lots of requests for it. So now um, you will have the chance to recreate this look for yourself. Now I've done quite a few um, videos over the course of 2020 with uh, Haverin. So if you have seen my videos before, then you'll kind of know um, how how it all works. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it on the board here, because it's a little bit quicker for me. Um, but you're welcome to do this on your face or on a sheet of paper. Um, you can print out a face that looks like this on a sheet of paper to help you. Um, or yeah, use, your, use a family member in your house um, to practice on. So this is for beginners, it's for children, for anyone who's never face painted before, this is aimed at you. Um, it's gonna be nice and basic, and then it's up to you if you wanna add any more decoration to it afterwards. Um, so what you're gonna need, you're gonna need some water. Um, you don't have to have it in a spray bottle, I've got a cup of water here as well, just to rinse off your brushes. Um, potentially a sponge, a range of brushes, uh, ranging from thick to thin. Um, and you're going to need a couple of colours. Um, so for this one, obviously generally reindeer are brown, but it's completely up to you what colour you'd like your reindeer to be. Um, that's the beauty about art. You can have a blue one, a pink one, a green one, really does not matter. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be using a mixture of browns today. So you might want to start by using a sponge, but I'm going to use a brush just because it's a little bit quicker and easier on the board. Um, but generally, a sponge feels a little bit nicer on the face, certainly around the eyes. So I'm going to start with a white face paint. Now, there's uh, face paints are available in a lot of shops at the moment, um, so or you can get them online as well if you can't get out to the shop at the minute. Um, but I would not recommend using anything except face paints on your face so if you don't have any face paints but you'd like to still join in with this tutorial then do do the option that I'm doing where I'm painting on a flat surface instead and it'll still help you um, practice your line work and your um, animal face painting techniques so start with the white I've just kind of done don't even know what kind of shape that would be, but you want to cover on top of the eyes, all the way up to the eyebrows, and then all the way down the nose. And yeah, at this point you're going to look very, very strange. I get a lot of peculiar looks from, from the adults standing in the queues when I start face painting. And they think, hmm, my son, my daughter, they asked for a reindeer and I'm not quite sure what this is. <laughs> but do not worry. There is method behind the madness and it will look like a reindeer in the end. So, now I'm just adding a couple of um, light brown strokes for the ears and then one right across the top for the top of the head here. Okay, you'll notice that I've left a little gap. You can fill this in. I'm going to later on fill this in with dark brown just to give it a bit more interest. But, of course, it depends on what paints you have available to you. You might just have the one colour brown. Um, also, if you are doing it on a face, um, we all have different skin colours. So, I would say that this colour looks very nice on light skin. But if you do have a darker skin, then you might want to use a darker brown. And potentially, for the white bits, use a gold. Um, and that might look a little bit nicer on your skin tone. Um, okay, so then I've covered in the cheeks and I've come all the way down to the top lip. Um, covered the cheeks up to around here. So generally none of my face paints, some of the ones at Halloween, cover the entire face. Um, just because sometimes I feel like it gets a bit messy, certainly if you're painting kind of on the bottom lip and on the chin. Because as soon as they eat, that does not look like how it was supposed to look originally. Okay, so now I'm going to take, actually I'm going to try and blend these in a little bit. I've just got a bit of a drier brush just so it doesn't look quite so um, stark. 
contrast on that nose area and on the top here. Just trying to blend this out. You can do this with um, a slightly damp brush um, that still has a little bit of each color on. It's just about working it. Again, if you've got a sponge, hang on, I'll just finish this off and then I'm gonna show you what, you, what I do with a sponge. Because this is a little bit easier actually blending with a sponge. So if you get one side of the sponge and put one color on that side, and then you put the other color on the other side of the sponge. I don't know if you can see that, but where you get that crossover there, it'll naturally blend in. So as you're, as you're painting, and you, you must dab with sponges as well, rather than swipe. So dab, 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 and then, oh, I think it's a bit too light, isn't it? But I don't know if you can see, there's a kind of bit of a gradient there and it's not just a harsh white and then brown line. So yeah, top tip. Then, once you've done that, I'm gonna go in with a darker brown. Now again, if you've got a dark complexion, um, sometimes a white looks really nice for this because you'll have used gold for the inner, the center part, and then you'll have used a dark brown for the outer part. So this would look really nice with a white color. Okay, I'm just going to fill in that those little ear ear parts. Oh, I haven't washed this brush. It's going to go everywhere. I do have a towel on my knee, by the way. I'm not just I'm not just wiping this on my jeans. So there you go. So just a tiny little bit in the corner there. And for this, you want quite a thin pointed brush. Don't know if you can see that quite a thin pointed one because I'm now just going to outline the whole design. So this is kind of what takes the time. This is um, when my skills are really put to the test when it comes to painting on children because not all children sit still. <laughs> so, okay, just make it look a little bit fluffy on the way down there. So currently just outlining all the brown bits. There. Okay. Doesn't matter if it's a little bit um, asymmetrical because at the end of the day, whose face is symmetrical? Okay, then we're gonna go move on to the tickly bit all the way down the center of the top lip and then flare out just as it gets to that lip parting at the bottom. Yeah, so all the way down the centre and then just flare out as it gets onto the top of the lip and that is the tickliest part of this. Um, then you're gonna come kind of on the nose but right next to where the corner of your eye is you're gonna come around, and I realize you probably can't see it as I'm doing this side. Yeah, but I've done that side, and now, hopefully you can see as I've done this side, I'm gonna start off, try and start off quite thin. You're gonna come up all the way around, pretty much up to where the eyebrow is, and you can even go on top of the eyebrow if you want. And then I'm just gonna bring it down, really, if you can, really thin lines for this bit, and it's just gonna kind of disappear as it gets towards the end of the nose. Yeah. So it disappears towards the end of the nose. And that is the main body of your reindeer design. So now, again, this is, this is optional. Um, we're gonna add some antlers. I like to add my antlers in white, just because I feel like it balances out the colors a little bit better. So again, you can have brown ones, or you can have decorated ones. Maybe your reindeer already have lights on them so you can put all different colors on. And for this, I'm gonna do two nice long lines at the top, starting off quite thick. And then as they get towards the top of the reindeer's head, I'm gonna try and lift the pressure off my brush a little bit. 
so that it goes quite thin. And they're the two main branches of the antlers. I'm just going to add a few more around the sides. That's going to be the tallest one. So the ones that you do here, they're going to, again, they're going to start off thick and then thin out and they're going to join that main branch. So they're all going to come off that branch and they're all going to be a little bit smaller than the central one. And I normally do about three or four here. Again to the outside, so thin. Um, these ones are tend to generally do symmetrical or as symmetrical as possible. It's difficult. Yeah, oh, I think I could do with another one actually. Let's add another one. Okay. And as you'll see, um, or can you see it, the paint, the brown paint hadn't quite dried because I'm doing this quite quickly. So if your paint hasn't dried, you will tend to find that they start blending together. So you can always just wait a minute until your outline is dry before you do the, before you do the antlers. I'm not sure why I've just rinsed my brush off because I still need the white. Right, so now we're just going to add a little bit of detail um, on the cheeks, these are just dots. I don't think reindeers really have dots, but there are some deers who have the dots. And I just think, it, again, it just adds that little bit of interest. And again, it's, it's, a, it's a trait of a deer, so you're trying to pick out all of the traits that people can just look at you and straight away know exactly what animal you are. And I just think this looks nice. But again, you don't have to add the dots. If you don't want to add the dots. Generally, I have them quite big on the outside. And then as they get towards the nose, they get a bit smaller. All right. Now we're going to do your nose. So again, I mean, if you don't want to be Rudolph, then you can just do a brown nose, but if you'd like to be Rudolph, then you can do red. Now, if you don't have a red face paint, you can do this with lipstick as well, um, because lipstick's safe to use on the face. But it generally doesn't stay on as good, because it doesn't quite dry on the nose. So yeah, recommend your face paint, but if you don't want to buy a red face paint just to do a little dot on your nose, then you can use some lipstick and I've just added a little bit extra if you do have the lipstick on the bottom there so you can have a nice little red bottom lip and again it just balances out the design a little bit so yeah and that is it that is your reindeer complete now if you do give this a try please do send it in to the Haver and Facebook page because we would absolutely love to see all of your attempts and I do hope that you've had a wonderful festive season and have a lovely Christmas and a lovely new year as well and I'll see you very soon hopefully. Bye!